Welcome back, John Fedger here with mobilehomeinvesting.net and I want to talk to you about something today that we don't talk too much about uh, on this channel yet, vacancies. Vacancies are a real thing. In the beginning of my career, I sold to the wrong people, I rented to the wrong people, basically anybody with a pulse uh, who would, you know, I could take their money and I would go ahead and, and give them a nice place to stay. Now the bad thing about that is, yes, the cash flow is coming in, but it's almost just a, not a question of if, but when, a countdown to when this person is going to flake out, when they can't pay when they're going to get into a situation that they're paycheck to paycheck and they can't make their monthly payment or they're just not ready to own a mobile home they're not ready to own a home and live there for the next two five ten years and then pay you off or continue renting so then you get that vacancy so uh, let's go ahead and talk about that I got a brand new sharpie marker here for just this, this occasion very special video and let's go ahead and talk about the gross uh, operating income and then the net operating income and then lot rent okay so let's just say that you have five properties uh, and they're all bringing in seven hundred and fifty dollars per month now this is the payment to the home and this is the payment to the park let's be conservative uh, three hundred dollars minimum is what we shoot for when we're investing in a mobile home in a park when we resell it or rent it uh, typically resell it with payments uh, we're typically getting three hundred dollars in net minimum uh, for the deals that we do you can do less all day long where you're only getting a hundred dollars per month but that's really scary and I'll show you why so we shoot for three hundred minimum per month cash flow so let's say that your net operating income is 300 we have your gross at 750 for all five properties very simple in this mythical world everyone's paying the same but uh, 700 we got 300 to us 300 for the home 300 is our net operating income after the 450 of the park has been paid let's just say in this example lot rent is 450 so with that said when we're getting all of our uh, payments coming in we're getting a nice uh, $1,500. That's pretty good. For five properties, we're getting $1,500. That's considerable. You get good people in there. They're going to pay month after month after month after month. You don't even have to think about it. You get poor people in there. I mean, bad choices, poor choices, high-risk people. Uh, then you're going to have a, a nightmare. I don't want to say a nightmare guaranteed, but it's definitely going to be a countdown to when that person can stay, when they're going to leave, uh, which is not what we want. We want to sell to good, high-quality people that have the ability to pay that will stay there. So let's just go ahead and cancel one of these. Let's go ahead and say that this person right here, number five, stops paying you. Now, not only does your cash flow drop instantly from the 1500 down to the 1200 Okay, but now you have to pay that negative 450. So from 1200, because at first with all five we were at 1500 cash flow, with the 300 taken away, we're at 1200 now. But remember, we don't just lose this cash flow, we have to pay this lot rent. Because they're not there, because they're not paying, we have to pay. Now for the first three months, I go ahead and we, we put money aside for just this occasion. However, you will have to pay the 450, so that 1200 now goes down to 7 50 per month that you're making with only one vacancy your cash flow now cuts in half so you have five properties one vacancy you went down from 1500 to, to 750 let's take this one step further I think you see where this is going if we have now two vacancies let's say this person has to leave and you are uh, obviously you're out the 300 from the income and you also have to pay this 450 lot rent so your lot your income now went from 750 down to zero with just two vacancies of your five you have now a zero income that's why it's so important and that's one of the things I list it's so easy but the biggest kind of umbrella mistakes that people make are when they're investors for mobile homes and parks is to overpay over improve um, resell it with leaving thousands of dollars on the table years worth of payments on the table and then number four is get the wrong person in the home if you have a good person in your home that's gonna pay every month it's very credit conscious I talk a lot about this on a lot of my videos it has the ability to repay then they're going to go ahead and let you know if they can't pay they're gonna make arrangements they're not just going to leave uh, typically and if you have somebody that's high risk then you're just setting yourself up for a bad situation it is so so much better to have a vacant property for an extra week or two or three to get the right person in 
It's better to have a vacant property than have a bad choice of a, of a tenant buyer or a, a tenant buyer, or a monthly <laughs> payment buyer or a renter in that home. So it's better to be vacant than have a poor choice for your person in there. So I just wanted to show this. Typically, we don't even think about this uh, if we're not actually investing. So it's kind of hard to see uh, to someone who, who's never been there before. So I did want to make a mention of it because it is a big, important factor. That's why we spend so much time and emphasis on pre-screening our tenant buyers, pre-screening our renters. We're selling this home. You wouldn't just hand over the keys to your car to somebody that you didn't know or didn't trust. Well, we're handing the keys over to a beautiful, nice mobile home in a park with roof, wall, central heat and air, beautiful home, appliances, you know, a decent, nice place that will last and protect this family for the next 20, 30 years or more. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that made sense. Uh, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's just right there. But we really don't think about it unless we're actually there. So again, it is nothing to be worried about. There are buyers for every mobile home that we have. We just have to make sure that of all the people that call you, we're really honing down and we have a strict funnel of who you want to sell to. So really, set the bar high when you're buying a mobile home. Set the bar high when you're reselling a mobile home. Thanks so much for watching. Any comments or questions, don't hesitate to reach back out. John at mobilehomeinvesting.net and support at mobilehomeinvesting.net if you want to email me. Thanks so much for watching.